Hi everyone and welcome back to It's the Little Things with Becky. Today we are going to be playing around with, are you ready? The uh, I Heart Revolution Eyeshadow Palette Chef's Special Pizza Palette. Yeah, that's what she looks like. You may have seen her in yesterday's video when I did an unboxing of all this. So this is the uh, Tasty Pizza Palette. And on this side here it says so fresh, so tasty. And then on the other side, best pizza in town, which I think is really cute. I love like the pizza theme they got going on with here. So we're going to be playing with that. This video is not sponsored. And if you guys want to, give me a big old thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. And if you want to see more of me, hit the subscribe button by hitting that little bell over there in the corner. And watch my future uploads. And yeah, it'd be good having you. Anyway, while that aside, let's start playing with this. I took the liberty of putting on... Uh, the. the I lost my train of thought, sorry. Eyeshadow primer already. So we get to play with this. Also, if you notice, I have some stuff on my lips here. So if you see some, like, spots, I guess. This is a LA Colors Lip Scrub. So it's got, like, the little grain scrub stuff in it. And this is just to help out my chapped lips. I suffer from chapped lips all year around. So I found that this stuff has really helped me. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. So it was only a dollar. Also, um, I hate anything mint. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Spearmint, peppermint, regular mint. Hate it all. Even mint ice cream. Ugh. But anyway, I did get this in cool mint. So that way I wouldn't lick my lips at all. And I wouldn't touch them. So that's just sitting there. So that's why my lips got look a little grainy and some stuff on them. But that is why. Anyway, that being all on the side here. Let's go ahead and get started. So, obviously, it's a pizza palette, so pizza-themed. Um, we are just going to dive in. Now, I'm going to try to do as many colors as I possibly can. But, in case you guys didn't see the video yesterday, that's what she looks like on the inside here. Um, I'm thinking the first color I am going to dig into is this one. Let's see here, right here, and it's like this brown one, and it's called Margin Hita, Margin Rita, Margin Margarita. Oh, that how you spell Margarita? Anyway, this shade right here, I think that's Margarita. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna be doing that, and I'm gonna be doing it in the crease of my eye. This is also a review. First impressions, by the way. I do like that these guys come with a nice mirror. So we're just going to be putting that in the crease here of my eye to start off with our pizza theme. Alright, they're pretty pigmented, or at least this shade is, which is good. So there's that. And then, of course, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Sorry, guys, I need a mirror in order to see you without my glasses. Alright, so there's that. Now we are going to go ahead and we are going to add some red because, personally, I love pizza. I can eat pizza, breakfast, lunch, and dinner all week long. I'm not phased by it. Pizza, pizza rolls, pizza hot pockets, pizza hamburgers, you know, anything. So we, and I like pepperoni on my pizza. Also mac and cheese pizza. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It sounds horrific, but I promise you it's good. We're going to go in with this red shade right here and call that pepperoni, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the corner of my eye, too. Ooh, that's pigmented as well. Yes. That's why I always start with my eyes. So if I make any mistakes, that's what that's looking like there. We can clean it up with foundation, concealer, and Q-tips. So once again, I'm going on this side and just 
putting that in the crease to where the brown shade was. Kind of mixing those two together. All right, now what is pizza without cheese? Nothing. So now I'm going with a different brush. And let me see here. Well, this is going to be a sparkly shade, but that's okay. This is extra cheese right here. Now I'm going to be putting that over here. That's pretty too. Like you said, guys, that's what that one looks like right there. I'm experimenting. I'm just trying to use as many colors as I can. But I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Not sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm liking the pigments of this so far. And the fallout is not bad at all. Alright, so that's how the eyes are looking so far. Now, let me see here. Hmm. <laughs> well, we gotta have a little bit more sauce to it. So let's go in with this saucy shade right here. And I'm just gonna add that like right over here. And buff that around again. While still trying to keep that yellow intact. So this is what that one looks like. And then. Do the same thing on the other side once again. There's that side, there's that side. Now, real quick, I am gonna go and just blend these out with my blending brush here, just to make them look a little bit better. Of course, there is some cleanup, but we will get to that here soon. I just wanna use many shades as possible, guys. So I am liking this so far. This side's just a little bit dark, so I am gonna just blend that out so and then I'll have to clean that up in a little bit. I am thinking maybe we need just a little bit more shimmer in there. So you know what? We want dessert. We are gonna go with Calzone, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to put that somewhere. Let's put it right over here. Oh, yeah. There you go. So that's how she's looking pretty darn cute in my opinion. I think we're going to do one more here. And I'm going to go with marinara. Of course. Right here. And I'm just going to take my finger and then just kind of tap that on my eye. But that's what that looks like. And then just... Tap that there. And then where'd she go? Right here. Then tap that on this other eye right here as well. Looks like that. 
but then I do want to add just a little bit more yellow to it. Now, I am not a Hawaiian fan on my pizza. I do like pineapple, just not on my pizza. So I am going to go in with this shade right here, Hawaiian, and just give it a little bit of a touch up with the yellow there. Right around here. Like so. And I am also going in. Hmm. I'm thinking olive, which is this shade here, will be too dark, but let me just swatch it. Oh, yes, that is like a black. So that's what olive looks like. I don't think I'm going to be using that, though. I think I like it kind of where it is, these browns, the reds, the yellows today. So we're going to stay away from that one, but let's go with some dough right over here. There's that. And then I do really, really want to darken this just a little bit more red. So I am going to go back in with this red shade, which is the pepperoni right here. And just do a hint of red back in there. Like so. And then, once again, blend that out. Alright. So let me go. Clean up my face here, and then I will come back with my final thoughts. But they're going to be good final thoughts. I will see you guys in just a sec here. Let me do that off camera here real quick. I was hitting the wrong button. All right, guys. So I went ahead and cleaned up my eyes. And then I also went ahead and took the liberty just to do the rest of my makeup. I kept it very casual today. Some Benefit BB cream uh, from the Dollar Tree. Um, a nude lipstick. A little bit of bronzer today. I skipped on the blush and the highlighting. A little bit of mascara. Um, but that, that's it. I like how this turned out a lot. I'm in love with this palette. Can I just say, like, the packaging is A plus for starters. And look how cute that is. It's a little bit raised right here. And you could, like, feel, like, the outline of the pizza, which is cool. Bonus points, they get a very nice mirror in there. I love it when palettes come with mirrors, as you guys know. Um, you get a wide range of shades in this as well. Uh, you definitely have your shimmers, your mattes, and a little bit of glitters in there as well. Uh, there's some fun colors, but then you could also keep it very neutral with this palette which is nice. So it's versatile. I like that. It's not huge, but it's not super tiny either. This is very nice to like travel with. And you can, I mean, if you do have like a big enough purse, you can throw that in your purse. Um, the pigment is very, very nice. The fallout wasn't terrible at all, which is great. I get this palette like an A++, okay? Like I love it that much. I would definitely go out and get this palette again. So yeah, this palette is Oops, two thumbs up. Alright guys, that is it for today. I appreciate you guys watching me and I hope you're all well and safe. Go enjoy some pizza for me and I will see you soon with another new video. Bye!